So, I'm going to crack on with sound deadening today and try and break the back of that. And then, a bit of condensation inside though. Do we dry it out first? Sound deadening, and then we'll start sticking some foam to the roof. I'm going to do the roof first. Uh, although I just ordered a roof light, but I'm not sure what I'm doing with solar panels yet, so I'm not sure where the roof light in just yet. I keep saying just yet, or yet, yet, yet. I might measure, see if we can get two solar panels lengthways, and then see if I can still fit. Uh, skylight there because my old van didn't have a proper skylight so I need one in this one um, anyway sound deadening let's crack on Sound deadening. I kind of feel like I've put too much on. Can you have too much sound down? Sound deadening. Down, down, down. Sound deadening. I've gone a bit less on this panel. Um, but I'm going to put some in. I've got tons of this stuff though, so um, I think I should be all right. Once I've done the roof, I'm going to take these panels off and start on the walls. I don't think I get that done today. It's actually more time consuming than I thought it would be. Um, I'm using this technical tool as well, like I didn't have a roller to roll this stuff on, so I'm using a tangle teaser, it's kind of like the right shape, you can just rub it on, like that, so, I promise that the rest of it isn't going to be as sort of bodged as that, although that's kind of van life isn't it, using what you've got, it's what I've got right now, I've left most of my tools in Castleton, so I'm on limited tools today, but that's fine because I don't think I need any tools. All right, the roof, apart from this section here where potentially going to be a skylight. The roof is now sound deadened. Bobby Dazzler. Look at that. I'm well happy with that. However, I've now got the task of doing this wall. So I'm going to start with this one and then we'll see how things go. My fingers are sore. I'm not going to lie. That wood's off. So my plan is to reuse this wood. I don't know if I've already said that or not. I can't remember what I've already said on video. My plan is to reuse this wood. This is going to be my finish. There's no point in throwing away good wood like this to then clad over it. So this is going to be my finish on the walls. The roof from here all the way around is going to be clad, same as the old van. But uh, it's going to come down to there rather than the old van comes to like sort of there the roof's going to come down, it's going to feel a bit more enclosed but that's fine, I've got plans, it's going to be the same colour and everything um, got a lot of work to do haven't I? so I upgraded from hairbrush the hairbrush uh, didn't last very long so I upgraded to this knife a bread knife I'm using the end which is brilliant really because I have to sort of hold it like that when I'm doing it, uh, and sometimes I've been pulling it towards my face while I'm, while I'm doing that. On here, 
Exactly. It wasn't fizz. So, I mean, the health and safety is out the window, but what's important is I get this done in a week so I can move into it. If I've got cuts on my face, at least I'm in the van. That's what matters. I'm supposed to put on. I think I might have gone overkill on the roof, but it does sound good. Um, but I put those pieces on there. I put some on the bottom. Um, I don't think it should be better. It'll be better than it was, but I don't know. I don't know if I should just lather the stuff on. <sighs> See, I re didn't really sound deadening the other one very well at all. I didn't use this kind of sound deadening. I cheated. A new roofing felt uh, which is essentially exactly the same stuff but the sticky stuff is, is bitumen which is not ideal but uh, I figured that if it was going to set on fire the wood would set on fire doesn't matter what the sound deadening is it works as a sound deadening the roofing felt stuff uh, the bitumen backed stuff genuinely does work it's just not the safest thing to use but then you're in a fucking Tin can filled with wood. Wood's flammable. Anyway, I'm doing it properly on this one. But should I put more on? So, we currently have sound deadened wall complete. I've put tape on these bits here and uh, expanding foamed inside. Come with me, I'll show you. These little holes here, expanding foam, expanding foam. As you can see, it's pissing out the top, but that's fine. Same with these ones all the way down. Um, I've expanding foam in all the gaps. Now I'm just cutting this. And funnily enough, the bread knife is the perfect thing to cut the insulation with. So, I'm going to cut some pieces of insulation. I'm going to tape them in there. Um, and then expanding from the gaps. So I'm four hours in, one side done, just about to put the board back on, um, but it's uh, sound deadened, foamed, spray foamed, um, foil tape and then uh, the foil insulation, uh, the vapour barrier. Cracking on aren't we? So there we are, that side is now done. I'm going to try and tidy up a little bit and then move this foam to the other side and then crack on with that side. Hopefully I can get this done tonight, today. Insulate the walls at least today, then I'll do the ceiling tomorrow possibly. I don't want to overdo it, but at the same time I don't want to leave it half done. I can't, I won't be able to sleep tonight knowing it's not finished. 
So we'll see how that goes. It's about as much as I can film today. Uh, it's going too dark outside. I've only got this light, but it's no good for filming. So um, the entire yeah, back of the van is sounded now. So obviously I've done that side completely. The roof's done, and now this side's done. I'm about to start adding foam. Uh, hopefully I can get it done tonight. But again, I'll show you tomorrow when um, there's more light. It's bloody cold, my nose is running. I'm hungry. It's been a long day so far, even though it's only been five hours long so far. Uh -oh. While this is recording, that would be it. ideal. Sorry to interrupt. Do you, want to, do you want to explain what you're doing? Yeah, Liam thought it'd be a great idea for me to do the easy job, tacking this off. So, all oh, rivets have got to come out, haven't they? Which is an easy two minute job. Yeah. How long have you been doing it? Time? 40 minutes? 48 minutes, yeah. yeah. 40 minutes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. But that's a job that needs doing because we've got to. This 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 brace. Brace? Brace. That's a good word for it. Structure. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, is where the cladding's going to be um, screwed to. Yeah. So, as you can see here, I've screwed wood beams to the side of this. And that was a two minute job as well. That wasn't was it? a yeah. seven minute job. Hot knife through butter, weren't it? Hot knife through butter on some of them, yeah. 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 Uh, so then the cladding can screw to that rather than trying to screw the cladding to the steel, which is a really good idea. Thanks to Joe for showing me that idea. That was Joe Wicks, fitness coach. Joe Wicks, fitness coach, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then back here, now started putting the, uh, that stuff, uh, insulation, on the roof. Polystyrene. The polystyrene insulation is on the roof. Tet roof. Um, so we're going to crack on with that today. But both walls are completely sound deadened and insulated and done. That Have is it. Have you put your bracing for your pole yet? I've not put my bracing for my pole, but that's going down there. Oh. All jokes aside, the pole would have more room in this van, so we could use that. Yeah, you could, yeah. And your hooks for your swing? All right. A hammock? Yeah, hammock, hammock. You've called yeah. it a hammock. It's So, as you can see so far today, I finished insulating the roof. There is a gap here, but that's where the skylight's going to be, and that's not arrived yet. Finished insulating the roof, vapor buried it, and now we've cracked on with cladding. Now, I am utilising this board, because I don't see the point in replacing it. Uh, there's going to be a finish on there, it looks look a lot better. But, the cladding is looking so good so far. So far, so good, some might say. I'm just about to carpet this part here with black carpet just to cover it up. 